Seriously? Grand Rising, everybody. Before I start, I'm going to sage to get positive energy. So I always say thank you for waking up this morning. And I say I want positive energy. Please remove negative energy. You know, sage helps your environment to be clean. And I say thank you for love and peace. Any spirit or entity that is negative, please remove itself. Anger, remove anger, depression, sadness, jealous, jealousy, envy. Give me love, patience, wealth, health, happiness, love, energy, positivity. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, so today's topic is about, you always got to make sure it's not lit no more because you could cause a fire, so I kind of wave it like this. Well, today's um, topic is about choices, but before we um, get started, I would like to play a poem called, hold on, it's called, Fuck I Look Like. Fuck I Look Like. So I want to talk about choices and I've noticed lately people that I know or even associates when he or she is having a bad day they want to set up here and take that shit out on other people like my thing is if I have issues going on at home I will never come to work I will never um, just take out my anger on somebody else because my life is not going right first of all we're all grown we know better 
if you're not happy with something in your life, you have to set up here and fix that shit. Whether it's finances. Hold on one second. Are y'all being loud in here? I'm sorry about that interruption. Anyways, um, we make choices. And whether it's financial, whether it's relationships, whether it's mental health, you either choose to deal with your problems or act like they don't exist. My thing is, I've always held how I feel in, and it's made me an angry person. I had to realize and let go of things that are out of my control. We can't choose who our parents are. So if your mother or father or grandma or uncle was abusive to you as a child, you either confront them with the situation or as you would do as an adult, is you will let that crap go. I don't ever want to be around anybody who does not respect me or I'm just a convenience for them. If your energy is off, I don't want to talk to you. Um, at the end of the day, like I say, we make choices. If your man or woman ain't making you happy, you have three choices, not deal with it, deal with it, or leave them. But see, I'm starting to really feel that relationships and friendships are con a convenient ship. You're like, what do you mean by that? A motherfucker may not like your ass whatsoever, but they will stay with you because you're helping them financially or sexually. My thing is, if I was with somebody who was of danger, who was on drugs, and just not mentally all together, I'm going to leave them and not deal with them. I, you don't have to deal with that shit, man. We are grown people. But then again, you want to lash out at the people who love you and um, have your back. Why do that? Like, if you're having a bad day, me, you just be like, hey, Kendra, I'm having a bad day. This is what's going on. But see, what I will not do is enable grown adults to keep making the same messed up uh, choices in life. Like, if you're like, this is what you got to do, and you keep complaining, why are you complaining to me if you're not going to fix it? I don't want to hear that shit. Most people want to grab onto your energy. And I noticed lately, I've enabled people to be fucking lazy. That's not my problem. Just like... um. When I was pregnant, I left my son's dad and I, and I decided I didn't want to be with my ex-husband. You got to be more mature in the things you do. But it's not my fault why your life is like that. We all have choices. You're either going to do right or wrong or continue to fucking complain and never take responsibility for your actions. I am so sick of this shit. But let me tell you what a true friend is. A true friend will tell you the truth even if you don't want to hear it. I'm drinking hot water. If you drink hot water in the morning, it takes all the mucus out of your body because mucus causes disease. I just got to wait until that cools down. This cup, um, it keeps your items hot and cold for hours and hours. I believe hot for eight, six for cold. But back to what I was saying, a real friend will tell you what it is even if you don't want to hear it. And you could be mad, but see... I'll tell you, my friend Aaron had been calling me for like a month and something, and I hadn't been answering the phone. As you all know, I had the flu about two two weeks ago, and I had just been sick and sick and sick and sick. And everybody knows I work two jobs, so like when I get home, I want to go to sleep. So he called my house, and he's like, oh, now I see why you haven't been answering. I'm glad you're good. We we caught up in each other's lives. We, you know, we keep it real and... <clears throat> Even with his situation, I let him know what it was from the jump. He was like, he was right. He never got mad at me, but he said he needed proof. You know what I mean? So he knows I'm a real friend to him. I'm so sick of friendships being on one sided at this point. The most people that I call my friend, we've been friends for over a decade. Do we talk to each other every day? No, we're all grown. We have our own family. We work different schedules. I'm not upset when one person doesn't call me back. But like I said, I'm not going to enable nobody to be, be fucked up and shitty because they make shitty life choices and don't want to hear what I have to say and want to get mad and off topic. That's some fake ass shit. So if you don't want to be my friend because I'm telling you the truth, 
I don't give a fuck. But like I always said, you go from one situation to another. And at this point, I can laugh and say, I told you so. Seriously, that shit is fucking draining. Tell somebody continue and continue and continue to bitch and bitch and bitch and talk shit about somebody. But does nothing to fix the situation. It's inconvenience and you're using that motherfucker because you're trying to talk to other motherfuckers on the side. My thing is, if someone is paying all the bills, and no, shit ain't always right um, with situations, but you try to fix them, but what you can do is sit up here and disrespect that person who's taking care of you and helping you. That's fake as fuck. But then when I'm like, yo, either you're going to deal with it or not, you're putting yourself in one situation to another to get your kids removed. And it's all drug possession and shit. I won't say names because that's not cool. If people want to get mad, I don't give a fuck. But I'm going to laugh and tell you I told you so. There is no way I will go from one fucking cokehead to another motherfucker with drug charges knowing I have children. Because at the end of the day, like I've said, they're going to remove your children. Anybody who's over the age of who's 18 and older is going to prison is that worth it arizona can you open the door yeah. arizona is a mother state and there's shelters you can go to but people want to bitch if i've had to do it several times go to a shelter reboot and get away and, and live my life and be happy open the door more please but you got to make life choices. Once you have children, nothing else matters. People get mad at me sometimes. I don't want to hang out, but I work a lot. And I come home to take care of my kids. I have to help with homework and do other things. So with that being said, how are you mad at me? Because I'm not on your becking call. So if you're mad because of what the fuck I said, then fuck you. You're not my friend. And at this point, I don't care to ever talk to you again because all you do is drain... All you do is drain my energy and it feels one fucking sided. And this is why I don't have female friends like that. When I ask somebody a question, don't beat around the bush. That's not what I asked you. But see, people can't be real. And people think one person's life is better. You don't know what the heck I've been through. I've never really shared this with um, a lot of people. But for four and a half years, my life changed dramatically because I was in an abusive relationship with my ex-husband and I got my kids removed and my caseworker was an asshole. Nobody was trying to work with me. They tried to say that I was crazy, but God be willing, I got them back. That was the toughest shit I went through. There are days I cried and I was depressed, but I said, I don't care if this takes six years. I will do whatever it takes to get my kids back. Now I know what it's like who your true friends are, who your true family is, and what it's really like to go through shit. So none of this circumstantial, little petty bullshit, that shit don't fucking bother me. I don't care. I can laugh at the goofy shit, but see, people want to point the finger. When I do this, there's four pointing back at me. You have to sit up here and look at yourself. If you keep making the same mistake over and over again, it's you. Like me personally, on July 4th, 2020 will be two years that I've been single. I feel I have to relook at myself and the choices I deal with men and go, okay, Kendra, I will never make this choice again. These are the things I look for. If that's not what I want, I'm not going to waste my time. So am I trying to go from one relationship to another? No. And plus I'm leaving to another country anyway, so I don't want to fall in love with someone and then leave. I got my whole stuff planned out. But like I said, for my CPS case, I have to take responsibility for my actions and go, okay, when my instinct told me to leave, I should have left. But we keep I'm trying to see something that's not there. Like, how do, how do I don't understand how people sit up here and blame people for the shit that they fucking do? If your man is cheating on you, being disrespectful, allowing other people to disrespect you, and you not saying shit, at the end of the day, when you have sex, you it's um it's exchanging of energy. And then if you have children, that children come first. If somebody were to ever disrespect your spouse, it doesn't matter if you're married, you're supposed to say something. I will give you an example. Um my mother came to my wedding when I got married, but um, my uncle, my bad, I need to blow my nose. My uncle was 
was like, your husband know nothing about um, children. Like, well, why are you talking shit about him? You don't know him. You ain't never called him. I'm not, I'm not cool with that shit. I will never let anybody disrespect my friends, disrespect my family, disrespect anybody that I care about because I will say something to them. That makes you a punk for not saying stuff. And then, ladies, we got to work on not calling men pussies and bitches. That's disrespectful as fuck. Um, calling them names. I've told women that's not cool. If he makes you upset, if one is not willing to change, you're wasting your fucking time. Uh, to me, even with my ex, he used to say, I didn't have a father. But that doesn't give you a right to be a fucking asshole. My father passed away when I was nine years old. I miss him Dearly, I'm 32 years old. I miss him. I cry for him. He died on um, March 12th, 1997, and his birthday is uh, March 15th. I mourn for my father. I miss him. I feel like out of both my parents, he loves me, had unconditional love, but am I an asshole because my dad died? No, that does not give me excuse to be an asshole. I do things that he likes, I might go to McDonald's and order some pancakes or order a cheeseburger because he used to take me to those places. I might see something that reminds me of my father. When when someone passes away, like I've said before, and I've argued with people on Facebook, is um just because your physical body dies does not mean your soul is dead. You heard me right. So we mourn somebody and we keep their spirit and their legacy alive. Come on now. I don't mean to be funny. Most people don't like what I got to say because they don't like the truth. But it is my goal as a woman, a black woman, to keep the masses awake. But people don't really want to deal with their shit. And it's very frustrating for people to just lash out on me because they're having a bad fucking day. But I've helped your ass and ain't never told you, bitch, to ever pay me one penny back. Because I'm not petty like that. What's diapers here and there are bringing you food because you don't have food in your household. But I'm not going to be stupid like that no more. Like, fuck you. You're mad because you didn't like what I told your ass. And now you don't fuck with me no more. It's all good. Because even when I went through my CPS case and have had hard times, I will still help somebody. Because your um current situation is not always going to be that same situation. People need to stop. Like I posted last night, stop um, making choices. Hey, Tiffany. How you, oh, hey, Brandy. How you doing? Stop making emotional choices. You have to clearly think before you make choices and then you make decisions. Because if you do that, you're going to regret it in the end. I like say if I'm being abused and my nigga's doing drugs, and I go live with my cousin, and I know she can't be around children, and she's had drug charges, why would I put myself in that situation, and then my cousin's with the fuck nigga who's using her, it's only going from one situation to another, why would you be stupid like that, this is what I'm saying, you gotta make choices, sometimes I write the pros and the cons of things, and then I sit up here, and I think, 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 think hard. I said, okay, if I want to quit my job, one of my jobs, I got to make sure I have another one. So obviously, in my rational mind, I would quit the part-time job to keep the full-time job. Makes sense, right? So you can't just, even when people get on your nerves at work, you can't just go, fuck these jobs, I quit. You got to make sure you have a backup first. And like me, I'm trying to work for the census here in my state. So I figured I could quit my morning job and then work my night job Sunday and Monday. That way, in about six to nine months when the job is over, I have a job to come back to and I can apply for the same job again. Make sense? But we make emotional choices based off how we feel. And my thing is, fuck him. I'm the, Are you really making the right choice? Because a lot of women and men stay together for the kids, and that's the worst thing in life you could ever freaking do. Stay together for the kids. Like, 
now knowing the truth about my parents if they stay together for me that would be the worst thing on earth because there would be domestic violence on a daily basis and I'm not talking about from my dad from my mom to my father because she stabbed him twice before here and here where she could have killed him that's the worst thing I'm glad they never got married but oh I want my kids to have a dad or I want my kids to have a mom if she ain't shit and she's on drugs that's hurting your kids freaking more we need to stand up for our children we need to teach our children how to run a checkbook how to go grocery shopping how to how to pay their bills because in 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 our household black folks when you're 18 get the fuck out but did you teach your children how to cook clean and manage stuff did you tell them hey you need, you might need to start volunteering when you're like 13 so by the time you're 16 and get a job that's three years of work experience even though you're not getting paid makes sense but we always want to take out our attitude and our misfortunes on people. Me, you don't always have to address shit. It's just like with kids. When my kids act a fool and I know they're being mean, we could be in a setting. Sometimes I ignore them and they freaking stop. It's the same thing. You don't always got to respond to something. But again, the choices you make not only affect yourself, but others around you, especially when you're a parent. And you have the nerve to be bitter and shit. Like, um... I've heard a lot of black men say, well, you black girls always have an attitude. And and I've heard someone say this at work. I said, so you're mad because your baby mom was a hoe and she don't let you see your kids or your mom was a crackhead hoe that never raised you. So you're mad because of them. I said, do you choose to fuck the hood rat bitch? Nobody told you to fuck her without a condom, but you're mad. That's a fucking choice. I'm not like that. If I have children, I want the fathers to see their children. But if they choose not to, I'm not going to force them to do so because I'm too grown to be arguing with a grown man. Like, who's going to do that? Y'all can eat your donuts. Go get them. Leave their velvet red one alone. Leave the red one. Get it. Yes. Not the red not one, King. The one. There's the one right here. You don't see this? But we make choices, and we want to be bitter and mad. I'm like, man, I'm an independent woman. If I really needed help, I'm the type of person to ask for help. But I'm the type of person also who wants to do on my own. So whatever I got to do to make sure everything is good at home, I'm going to do it. So if I really ask somebody for help, it's because I need your freaking help. But a lot of people want to play victim, want to be lazy, want to make excuses. I'm sick of that shit. They always with a story, always with a story like that is draining. You're the problem. Fix your fucking self, man. You're grown up. Oh, well, my, who gives a fuck? If you're in your 20s or even 18, 19, you can't keep going, oh, but this happened. Oh, well, get the fuck over it. We are, people like me is tired of hearing that bullshit. Seriously, it's draining as fuck. I don't want to hear that. I have better things to do in my day than to hear bullshit like that, man. I don't mean to sound funny or mean, but it's true. Do better. Have the bar higher. Be better for yourself. But people want to play this victim and put subliminals. I put on Facebook how the fuck I feel. If you're mad, I don't give a fuck. That's just the kind of person I've been. Anybody that knows me from my job core days knows if I feel a certain way, I'm going to say it. But see, y'all millennial kids are so fucking sensitive and believe everything you see on the computer. It's sad. And TV's raising our children now to where People, oh, young women and men think watching Love and Hip Hop, that's how the fuck you're supposed to act. That's some scripted ass shit. And even me, yes, I enjoy watching that stuff, but sometimes I have to cleanse my aura of bullshit like that. But people don't want to hear it. They get upset. They get mad. But guess what? I will still be here to tell the truth because that is my job. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.